It takes strength to be a good potter. I think it takes strength to be a good human too. It helps to have large, strong hands with straight fingers, solid biceps, and a tight core. I follow a few potters on Instagram, men with bulging arms who seem to move the clay around with so little effort. And it's easy to assume we need to be big and muscular in order to be a good wheel throwing potter. But I've also, I have a vivid memory of my beginnings as a potter 18 years ago. In the studio where I learned, I remember watching a tiny 80 year old woman wield a massive 15 pounds of clay with seemingly only the slightest bit of force. Oh, she was strong, but her strength wasn't about muscle mass. I'd like to think I'm a strong potter. Actually, I think maybe my strength is my favorite thing about myself. I try really, really hard at almost everything I do. I try for my core and I do not give up. At least not when it matters. I do this with my pottery practice and I do it in my life. Strength can be about determination and perseverance. It takes strength to pick yourself up off the ground when you fall and then dust off and try again. Being strong isn't about being perfect. Being strong is not getting destroyed by the challenges in pottery, in life. But I think strength is more than that. Strength is also about endurance. The ability to hold on to the clay and keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until you achieve the result you want. Strength is effort. Really trying and trying hard and doing it over and over again. Never giving up. Strength is about being solid and unmovable, yet flexible at the right time. This reminds me of the Buddhist proverb about being strong and flexible like bamboo instead of strong and brittle like the oak tree. But knowing the right time to be firm and the right time to be flexible, it's so hard for me. I struggle with this all the time and in all areas of my life. Boundaries are important. It's important to make your hands or fingers into a wall that will not be moved by that clay. But other times, I have to bend. Knowing the right way to be in the right time is so hard. Strength is also about 
patience, the ability to sit calmly and patiently wait for the clay to yield to my will, to patiently wait through whatever challenges the universe has brought me today. Being strong is being equanimous, calm and composed, accepting and trusting in my own strength. Being strong isn't easy. And I think the really important things in life never are.